champions. Today we're going to read the story called Dolphins at Daybreak by Mary Pope Osborne. But before I read, let me show you where we are today. Behind me is the beautiful Kalam River. I am in Kalam, Pakistan with the kiddos. And you can see how fast the water is moving. And there are some fabulous mountains, lots of greenery. And I'll pan out. There's to be on a swing. <laughs> Play set. And now I will read you your story. Chapter One, Master Librarians. Jack stared out the kitchen window. The sun was not up yet, but the sky was growing lighter. Jack had been awake for a long time. He had been thinking about the dream he'd had, the dream about Morgan Le Fay. The treehouse is back, Morgan had said. I'm waiting. Jack wished that dreams were real. He missed Morgan's magic treehouse. Jack, his little sister Annie appeared in the doorway. We have to go to the woods now, she said. Why, Jack asked. I had a dream about Morgan, exclaimed Annie. She said the treehouse is back and she's waiting for us. That was my dream, said Jack. Oh, wow, said Annie. She told you too, so it must be important. But dreams aren't real, said Jack. Some dreams aren't. But this one is, said Annie. I can just feel it. She opened the back door. I'll see you later. Wait, wait, I'm coming, said Jack. He raced up the stairs. Having the same dream must mean something, he thought. He grabbed his backpack and threw his notebook and pencil into it. Then he ran downstairs. We'll be back soon, Mom, Jack called into the living room. Where are you going so early, his dad called. Just for a quick walk, said Jack. It rained last night, called his mom. Don't get your shoes wet. We won't. Jack slipped out the door. Annie was waiting for him. Let's go, she said. The sky was pale gray. The air felt freshly washed. Jack and Annie ran up their quiet street to the Frog Creek Woods. They headed, be they headed between the trees. Soon they came to the tallest oak in the woods. There was a wooden house high in the treetop. It is back, whispered Jack. Someone looked out the window of the treehouse, a lovely old woman with long white hair, Morgan Le Fay. Come up, called the magical librarian. Jack and Annie climbed up the rope ladder and into the treehouse. In the dawn light, they stared at Morgan Le Fay. She looked beautiful in a red velvet robe. Jack pushed his glasses into place. He couldn't stop smiling. We both had dreams about you, said Annie. I know, said Morgan. You do? Yes, I sent them to you, said Morgan, because I need your help. What kind of help, said Jack. Merlin the magician has been up to his tricks again, said Morgan so I haven't had any time to collect books for Camelot's library. Can we collect them for you? asked Annie. Yes, but in order to gather books through time, you must be, a mas you must be master librarians, said Morgan. Oh well, Annie said sadly. But you can become master librarians, said Morgan, if you pass the test. Really? said Annie. What kind of test? Jack asked. You must show that you know how to do research, said Morgan, and show that you can find answers to hard questions. How, said Annie. By solving four riddles, said Morgan. She reached into the folds of her robe and pulled out rolled up paper. The first riddle is written on this ancient scroll, she said. This book will help you find the answer. She held out a book. On the cover were the words, Ocean Guide. There they are. This is where you have to go, said Morgan. The ocean? Oh boy, said Annie. She pointed at the cover. I wish we... Stop! Jack grabbed Annie's hand. 
How will we know if we found the right answer to the riddle? He asked Morgan. You will know, Morgan said mysteriously. I promise you will know. Jack let go of Annie's hand. She pointed again at the cover and finished her wish. I wish we could go there. The wind started to blow. Are you coming with us, Morgan? Jack said. Before Morgan could answer, the treehouse started to spin. Jack squeezed his eyes shut. The treehouse spun faster and faster. Then everything was still, absolutely still. Jack opened his eyes. Morgan Le Fay was gone. Only the ancient scrolls and the ocean book were left in her place. And that's the end of chapter one. Go ahead and flip the page, babe. Let's see what happened. No, chapter two. And chapter two is called The Reef. I will see you next time. Have a fabulous night. Sleep well, guys.